hello students good day to all uh, so normally there is a question coming in ktu uh, what is uh, uh, basic unit of cellular communication what is uplink frequency downlink frequency and most probably you will be getting a question what is frequency reuse in cellular communication okay i would like to explain that one using this video so the basic unit uh, i am taking this laser pointer the basic unit of mobile cellular mobile or cellular communication it is called a cell that's why it is called a cellular communication okay so the cells can be any shape take any shape uh, you see that uh, shape is hexagonal in shape right so why it is hexagonal so we can use circle so the circle or spherical shape carrying maximum area right but uh, we cannot use this circle or spherical forms in cellular communication why because so you can see that if you are using circle there will be gap uh, you will be gap is forms in between there is no dead area there is no range you will be getting and similarly overlapping area we are wastage of power so just you have to say that there is will be gaps and overlapping area if we are using uh, circular shape the cell shape is circular there will be gaps and overlapping area I am very much simplified for examination point of view for first year S2 students, okay? So, uh, what is the alternative? What is the solution for that? The regular shape, uh, uh, this triangular shape or square shape we can use, right? There will be no overlapping, no gaps in between them. But you can see that for a square of uh, now side A or R, R square is the area, right? This is half BH. But uh, hexagon shape, uh, I am simply, as I said, I am very much simplifying this one. Hexagon has the largest area uh, of the tree. So that's why in cellular communication, the cell size taking the form of a hexagon shape. Okay. So compared to, it's not triangular, not square, not pentagon, we are taking a uh, hexagon shape. So the cell grouping, that is very important concept. Uh, so, for example, I am very much simplifying, as I said, I am very much simplifying, I am not talking about uh, more detail into the cellular concept. For example, BSNL. BSNL is a cellular provider in Kerala, okay? And BSNL is provided with 70 channels. Okay, you assume that 70 channel is provided by TRI. TRI, I explained in the class, Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. So, 70 channel means the channel A that is situated in Angamali, you assume that A is uh, one, one tower is situated in one cell is situated in uh, Angamali, that first one to ten channels are used by uh, this cell A and remaining B, assume that this is Kaladi and Kaladi and surrounding places using 11 to 20, like that the entire area, this uh, F is, this is Perbaur, like that. So the 70 channels are equally distributed in seven cells. So 70 by 7 is equal to, 70 by 10 is equal to 7, so that form a cluster. So, uh, if they are asking, the KTU is asking for what is a cluster in 7, you can use this example. 70 channels are equally distributed in this one, okay? So, it is a drawing very easy. So, uh, I will show how to draw this one in the class. Uh, uh, once, uh, you know, how to draw one cell is very easy because uh, uh, in uh, today I have class, in your class, uh, I will explain how to draw very easily this one, okay? So now the important concept is coming, frequency reuse, okay? So uh, we we studied already that the cluster is formed, seven cells form the cluster, okay? So using seven cells, so we are covering, in our example, we are able to cover only Angamali and surrounding places only. But uh, BSN is supposed to cover entire Kerala, right? How the, uh, using 70 channel, how they are going to cover the entire channel? That is called a frequency reuse, okay? So this cluster, this one cluster is repeated, okay? So this cluster is Angamali and surrounding area, and this cluster is Kotaim and surrounding area, this cluster is Ernaul and surrounding area, okay? This cell one is using the same frequency, that is 1 to 10. I was explaining 1 to 10 is the channels, out of 70, 1 to 10 channels are used by cell, cell one. That is maximally spaced. So there is an equation called I square plus J square plus IJ and 60 degree anti clock direction we have to move. That is not covered in your syllabus. That For the time being, you have to understand that frequency reuse is, is using clustering. So the uh, cells having maximum distance. So this, this cell one is called cold channel cells. 
co-channel cells, co-channel cells. I will explain the class. So cell one, this cell one, this yellow colored highlighted regions are using the same channel that is from one to 10. So that is called a frequency reuse. So cell one is using the same frequency channel that is called a frequency reuse. So you need to draw the envelope only and center cell is need. Suppose you are asking in the question and it carries only five marks. You not draw, you not waste your time to draw everything. So you need to draw the envelope only just like in AM, we are uh, concerned about the uh, envelope only. So the center, you can say cell one, these cells are using the same channel. So that is called the post channel cells and that is called the frequency reuse, okay? This I am taking from slide share, this figure. And uh, there is an uh, important concept is called uplink frequency and downlink frequency. Mobile station, mobile, our mobile handset, mobile handset to the base station nearby, it is called uplink frequency and reverse. The base station to mobile is called uh, downlink frequency, uplink and downlink frequency, okay? So I was asking in the series two question, what is uplink frequency and downlink frequency of uh, satellite communication? Sublink frequency is 6 gigahertz and downlink frequency is uh, 4 gigahertz. This is ground station. This is another ground station. This is the geosynchronous satellite. Sublink frequency is 6 gigahertz and downlink frequency is 4 gigahertz. Okay. So here's some frequency band. When you go, going to buy a, a mobile phone, so nowadays it is available. Here some comes in the 2G, uh, second generation, right? We studied about 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, etc. And uh, so nowadays mobile phones are, if you are buying it is uh, uh, handling, able to handle 5G as well. But uh, that it is, in the old mobile phone it is saying that it is GSM dual band. What is dual band? So one is GSM 900 band, that is the first band. And second band is 1800 band, that is called a dual band. In dual band the uplink frequency, that the mobile station to uh, base station is 890 to 915 megahertz. And downtown frequency is 935 to 960 uh, megahertz. So you will be getting uh, a difference of frequency of 25 megahertz. I am I, I was saying that I am not going deep into the uh, uh, mobile communication. I am GSM. Here the uh, the bandwidth is 25 megahertz. And similarly, GSM free, uh, GSM dual band second band that is 1800. The uplink frequency is this one, and downwind frequency is this one. So you studied what is cell, why we use cell as a cell basic unit of cellular communication, why it is hexagon in shape, so what is clustering, what is frequency reuse, and uplink and downlink frequency. So I hope you are comfortable for the unit exam. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you. I am stopping this video. Thank you.